Today we're going to answer a question I received on my channel. Can I have more than one post page? Each page is for different content. So technically, no, you can only have one post page on a WordPress.com website. But what you can have is more than one category archive page, which will look just like a post page. And any blog post you assign to one or two or three categories, you can create a menu item for each of those category archives, and it'll look like you have two or three post pages. Let's go do that now. So here's my simple website, and I have three pages on it. The blog page has three blog posts, a cat post, a dog post, and just a post number one. So if I want to have two blog pages, or the appearance of two blog pages, one page about cats, one page about dogs, what I need to do is assign each of these blog posts to a category called cats or dogs, and then create two new menu items, which are actually category archives. So let's do that now. So let's go to my posts that I already wrote. Let's go to the cat post first and we'll edit that. So this cat post was assigned to a category called uncategorized because we didn't have a cat category. So let's add one. A category called cats and we're going to add the new category. And here it is right here. Let's uncheck this one. So now this post is assigned to a category called cats. Now we should go to the dog post, all posts, the dog post, we'll edit that one, and we'll assign it to a category called dogs. So let's add the new one called dogs, add new category, and we'll uncheck the uncategorized one, and we'll publish that post. We're updating the post actually, it's already been published. And let's just view the post. So there's the dog post. And you can see down here the category tag. The category it's assigned to is dogs. Let's go to our blog page. So the posts are still going to go to the blog page. So you get the cat post and the dog post. See this one's assigned to the cat category. This one's assigned to the dog category. The first one's assigned to the uncategorized category. So now let's make two menu items. One called cat blog and one called dog blog. So we'll go to our WP admin. And now we're going to go to appearance menus. And we're going to create a button right here. Here's our current menu, menu one. It has the home, the contact, and the blog pages already on it. So let's create a category archive. So let's make the dog category archive. We're just adding it to the menu. There it is. Now let's create our cat category archive, add it to the menu. There it is. Now we have two new buttons, one called dogs. Now we can edit this label. Let's call it the dog blog. And let's call the next one the cat blog. And let's just get rid of this blog menu item. You can always put it back. There, now our menu is four items, dog blog, cat blog, and the normal blog page is gone. Let's save this. Now let's go back to our website. So here's our menu, home, contact. Let's go to the dog blog page. See, now it only has the post that we assigned to the dog category. Let's go to the cat blog page. There it is. There's the one with the cat category. So now we effectively have two blog pages. But what they truly are is category archive pages. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.